wave two, tape five, energy bar tool. I'm almost at wave three, almost at focus 15, and I'm very excited about that. So this tape is about creating this tool, the energy bar tool, and based on my research, we're going to have to use this tool in other tapes, and we could also use this tool in our daily lives. Th it, there's a bunch of different things that we can do with it. Uh, example, we can use it to go to other dimensions, attract uh, different energies in different dimensions, and even try to communicate with them. So, and there's more things that we can do with this tool. So my experience with this tape. So I had a very strange experience. So as usual in wave two, at the beginning we have to get into focus 12. For me, focus 12 is a very deep state. It's a state where I get uh, a lot of visuals and I do feel like I'm traveling. And I do feel like I float a lot when I'm in focus 12. So why did I have a strange experience? Because when I was doing the tape, I felt like I wasn't doing anything. I felt like I was just there. But when I finished the tape, I realized I went really far and I did a lot. So that's a new feeling where as I'm doing the, when I fin when I uh, when I'm doing the tape, I feel like I'm not being productive. Not nothing's really happening, but after when I when I got back after the tape, I I, I realized that wow, okay, wow, you went really far and you were very productive. So this is what happened. So I, I get into the, this scene. I have a visual. It's there of me building this energy bar tool. Okay. So I see myself building it. I see myself building this tool. I I I, I remember what I'm wearing. It was armor. It was very weird. I was wearing armor, and there was someone else in that room looking at me. I think it was a woman. She wasn't clear. But I can clearly feel someone is there in the room where I'm building this tool, okay? So nothing happens as I'm building it. As I'm building it, when I mean when I say nothing happens, I don't feel anything or I don't understand the purpose of this tool. <coughs> so this goes on for a while, like, wow, nothing's happening, really, nothing's happening. I'm just doing what I'm asked to do, but I don't really understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, right? But when I finish building this tool, at the end of building it, and I'm still in the focus 12 state, something does happen. When I finish it, I randomly get very strong bursts of energy in my mind. I feel very intense energies, like pushing in my brain, right? I swear to God, I swear I'm not making this up. This is just my experience. So I, when I finish building this energy bar tool, I get strong energies intense feeling in my mind and then what happened okay and then i see i saw radiations in my mind as my eyes were closed i don't i don't see that room anymore with the with the woman where i was building the tool i'm not, i don't see that visual anymore now i i, I just i'm ju i just am and i just get to strong radiations this is what i'm focused on i get strong radiations like i see radiations right i see radiations and Okay, so this is kind of weird, okay? I, I, I think what happened is that this radiations was like a receptor, an antenna, saying that I am here, is anyone around? Come. That's what I, that's what I felt really like, I, I really felt like that's what was happening. Okay, and this is really weird because I just did the tape before recording this video. So I finished the tape, let's say maybe half an hour ago, I finished the tape, okay? So I remember after these radiations, I went to two dimensions, not one, two dimensions. But I swear, I don't remember anything about these dimensions now. And I just did the tape. But I know for a fact, I felt it because when I came back, I... After the tape, I felt like I went really, really far. Like, it was crazy. The feeling you get is, like, not normal. Like, you feel like maybe you just got out of a plane. Or, like, you feel like you were in another world and you, you still feel the physical effects of that world on your body, even as you, you come back. But I went to two places, but I don't remember anything about them. So that's my experience. And 
What I'm really looking forward to is that we're going to have to use this tool for remote viewing. Remote viewing is where we try to see things somewhere where we are not. Like, uh, let's say, this is just an example. Let's say I'm in city A, country A, and someone is in country B. Maybe I could look at what they're doing specifically or what, what's the environment in a specific area. So I'm excited about that, to use this tool there. So good luck with your uh, adventure, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Good luck.